My man. Do you see the crowd out no, there? No, do, do I? Do you see it? <sighs> look, look, I am glad you made it. Here, listen, when we are up there, if yeah. you ever feel out of your depth, just give yourself a little, come on, I just give this, yourself man. a little air tug, and I'll jump right in, all right? Bro, I play in front of 30,000 people. <laughs> I got this. Look, I'm sure you will. Just, you know, in case you aren't, I'm here. I'm here for you. All right. All right? Gotcha. Let's make that happen. Yes, sir. Whew. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. <laughs> when you harness your passion, you harness your future. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, now. Okay, okay. Next question. Hmm? Oh, how about you? Yes, you in the red. What can we learn from each other? I'm sorry. Yes. I actually thought this was a, a real estate convention, so I... I gonna... <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. Uh, I know there's a question in there. Okay. Hi. Just uh, whenever you finish, just pass it around. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Harmony. Okay. Um, okay, so do you have any advice on balancing uh, culture with results? Hmm. Basically, I have an employee who is really, really good at his job, mm. but he's also a really, really massive jerk. Oh, man, massive jerk, huh? Huh? Yeah, right? We, we've been there. How many of us has been there? Right? Okay, okay, um, this is tough. Uh, um... MP, yeah, yeah, you, why don't you take this one? You must have encountered your share of talented people who are difficult Absolutely. to work with. Absolutely, and uh, great question, Harmony. Uh, yeah, I think it, uh, it kind of goes with the, uh, the territory when, when playing in, in a team sport. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so what guidance, guidance, guidance can we share with this this mindful businesswoman. Well, ultimately, you can't let the culture be eroded by a bad apple, no matter how good he is, mm. because a happy company is a strong company. So just let my company go down the tube so my employees aren't uncomfortable? Oh, no. Got it. No, no, no. That's not what we're saying. Okay, um, let me unpack that just a little bit. Uh, have you ever talked to this employee about his behavior? Okay. No, uh, he's a little scary. <laughs> I get it, you know. Uh, those kind of conversations can be very scary, so I, I definitely commend you um, for even thinking about it. But if this employee's attitude is as detrimental as you say it is, mm -hmm. um, then you owe it to everyone involved, including this employee, mm -hmm. to have a conversation about it. Go ahead, you know, man. have a frank conversation uh, about the things you need and the things that he's not doing. Go ahead, go ahead now. Yeah, um, so you pretty much want to set clear goals. Um, and if he refuses to or is unable to meet them, at that point, you have to do what you have to do and uh, possibly fill that role with someone else. There you go, that's my guy. It's my guy, right? Wow. I mean, huh? Out. Jeez, man. Okay. Maybe I'll take the next one. Harmony, is that good for you? Can I go now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you must. Yeah, thank you. All right, all right. Who's next to share with us? Huh? Over here. Huh? Over here. Uh, Over here. Ooh. You, sir. Right there. You, you right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, is that call right there? Oh. I mean, okay. uh, Let's, I, yeah, this so, question from the gentleman right here. Okay. I was wondering if maybe you could give some advice for someone who's outgrown their mentor. Wow. <sighs> now that's actually not something to be upset about. It's something to celebrate, you know? Because a true mentor should be happy if that happens. You know, I think any advisor would want to see their mentor, their mentee, reach a point where they, how do I say this? Uh, where their advisor is obsolete. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. So now I'm obsolete? Huh? I've lived a lifetime of hot dogs. What have you done? 
Dad, he's just saying that it's my restaurant and I'm entitled. Hey, you don't even display your ketchup. It's problem. my restaurant. Oh. I'm entitled to my own condiment display. Okay. And now. your condiments are embarrassing. Whew. Just like you. Or, uh. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry, bro. I didn't know that no, was your no, dad. No, no, it's, no. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, well, now, um. Thanks, MP, for helping out. You know, you know what? How about we take another question from one to someone else? From Wait, the hold, hold on. I, I can uh, just ask. Let me ask another question. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I got this. Uh, you look like you have a good question. Yeah. Would you like the mic? Um, hi, my name is B, and I'd like to thank I'm, you. I'm sorry. Can you speak up, dear? Mm, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm just a little bit nervous. And yet, you're asking a question. Now that's a very brave thing to do. I think that deserves a round of applause, everybody. Come on, come on, come on now. Thank you, thank you. All right, Bia, oh, right? Thank you. Please. B. 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 Please. Don't care. Um, uh, yeah. So you mentioned earlier that when you were in college, you won a basketball competition match. Mm. I did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Cool. And then you transitioned into the professional league where you were very young and many people, some even on your own team, felt like um, felt like the organization made a huge disservice in drafting you over someone more talented and perhaps one even would say a handsome player like Shep Owens, oh. who has unbridled athleticism oh. and uh, beautiful uh, uh, B, structure. B, hey, I don't mean to be rude, but... Um... Was there a question somewhere in there? Yes, absolutely. Uh, given those circumstances, how can anyone currently look to you as a leader? <laughs> you know, B, that is a really great question. Uh, frankly, because of all those things you just mentioned. Um, you know, there are some bad choices uh, that people still think were made, uh, but I can't control those because what I can do is show up every day, do my job, and help this team get better each day that I'm out there. Because a leader doesn't have to be the most talented or the most popular or the high-flying player. They only have to be willing to do whatever's necessary to help the group succeed. Mm -hmm. And that's what you got in me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well said. Well said. Thank you. I'm still Team Shep. Mm. Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do another. Who here has any thoughts to share about what we've learned today? Yeah, I got a question. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hello. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Right. Uh, right. Uh, right. Ah, we're good. Okay. Call it. I didn't give you enough credit. Really? I felt like you were trying to get rid of me. <laughs> those, those, those were challenging questions, and I, I assumed you weren't up to the challenge. So I kept trying to pivot away. But you? You handled those questions with aplomb, man. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, man. You, you did. Look, MP, leadership isn't about having the answers. It's about being willing to take the questions in the first place, man. Look, anyways, I just want to apologize because I was underestimating you, and I won't ever make that mistake again. So if you ever need me for marketing or anything, you know where to find me. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you the friends and family, Ray. All right? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that, Petey. For real. It's Peter. My bad, Peter. I got you, man. And uh, I had a good time. Yeah? Yeah. Despite it all, I had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Likewise. My man. <sighs> all right, well, I'm going to head out. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll see you around, MP.